We're outside the War Memorial Auditorium in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This is the man right here, Colt Cabana, coming down from the Chicago, Windy City area. Yeah, Chicago, beautiful Chicago, Illinois. Cubbies are doing well, everything's going well. I had to ask you that, you brought that one up, and I had to ask you, so what is it like up there with the Cubs doing as well as they oh are almost God. in the series uh, here? I mean, I remember the Bartman times, I remember like 84, I was four years old when that happened. And uh, there's so like we're we're not saying we're gonna win. We're just wa we're just watching right now, and uh, hoping. But it's Chicago's mad right now, and really exciting. It's an exciting time. You know, I'm 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 right down with all the madness. So like I'm in the middle of all of it. So it's really cool. Speaking of excitement, yeah. Talk about this new project that you put together, yeah. and what it's all about. So the Wrestling Road Diaries. I, it's a series. It's it's a. It's a documentary about following uh, the people in the world of the independent wrestler. The first series I did was me and Daniel Bryan uh, and Sal Renaro. That was in 2011 we put that out. And that was kind of a first of its kind. We followed up with the second one. It was myself, uh, Luke Gallows, and Cliff Compton after they got uh, Domino from WWE, after they got let go. And that was kind of a different aspect of like how you, trans how you, how you come back from being a WWE wrestler back to the indies. And this one, it it's out on, on pre-sale now. We ship November 6th. Digital November 11th, Wrestling Road Diaries 3, Funny Equals Money, and it's about comedy wrestling. I, I, I flew over Kikutaro from Japan, the Japanese, J Japan's comedic legend. He's a legend in Japan. And of course, Grado from Scotland, a legend in Scotland. Of course, uh, he also is in uh, Impact Wrestling. And uh, we went on the road and we really dissected comedy wrestling. Like, it's a craft. People don't really know like how much of a craft it is. And we show how hard it is to be funny, which I know is an odd thing to say, but uh, it's not easy to be funny in the context of a professional wrestling ring. And so this is all documented. I'm very proud of it. Jack Edinger uh, directed it and edited it. And uh, it's out now, coldmerch.com. I'm so excited. There's a trailer on YouTube or my Twitter page, at Cole Cabana, check it out. And uh, it's great. Nothing like this has really ever been done before. This is innovative. And you talk about comedy because it's hard enough doing a comedy club, going on stage and being a comedian yeah. and getting laughs. When you're in a wrestling ring, there are, there are certain things you could do to get that heel reaction, the bad guy reaction where you can get a crowd, you just start bashing their city or bashing themselves. Right. But actually do the, the comedy and having that people laugh in the ring when at you in the ring to do things like that. What have you learned about comedy and wrestling? Yeah, well, I just important like most importantly, it's not it's just not easy and we're doing it through a different context, right? Like it's hard because we're selling professional wrestling, but we're actually giving comedy. Whereas and if you go to stand up, you're selling comedy and you're giving comedy. So, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, this has been something that I've been practicing and, and, and doing for years. You know, this, I'm in my 18th year of professional wrestling. And I've been doing comedy wrestling for a long time now. And uh, I don't know, like one thing if I was uh, just, um, I, I guess you have to be a real good basic professional wrestler in order to be a good, you have to know the basics very well in order then to move to the next step of comedy. So that's like something that's a lot of people don't really understand, but you you got to have a good grasp of the basics to be able to then make them laugh. What works for you as far as the comedic sense yeah. in pro wrestling? Um, yeah, I, I make a, a good straight man, which is kind of interesting, which a lot of people don't want to do and don't really realize how hard it is or important it is. Is you know sometimes I'm the big the goofier guy, but like if I'm in there with a Grado who's a little more outgoing, I'm gonna play the I'm gonna play his foil almost, and so I think I think what works for me is my almost my versatility is I could be the goofy one or I could be the straight man, and I'm okay with the idea that I would be the straight man in order to get laughs in a wrestling match. When you're on this uh, traveling with these guys like yeah. that and putting this all together, this project together. What type of format is it? Are you guys in the car, driving, or yes. is this, this yeah, 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 what is yeah, this whole yeah. like? So I flew them to Chicago, and then we did a loop of the Midwest, and we did Cleveland, we did Chicago, we did the St. Louis area, and uh, we just drove around, and uh, you know, so we, you also get to see this international flavor travel around the Midwest, which is kind of bizarre for them, uh, which I know very well, because I've been, you know, this is what I've been doing, the, you know, those roads for years, but those guys, it was very new to, to, to them, and that's part of the fun also watching that. What did they experience about the Midwest? What did you find interesting that uh, maybe Grado or they're, yeah, they're they, looking I mean, at? Yeah, they it. love American food. They loved American food, Grado especially. Uh, I took him to get wings in Chicago. Oh, he loved the wings. He couldn't stop talking about it. Burgers, just giant burgers. He, he'd call it a big F-off burger. I won't say the word. He's like, let's get a big F-off burger. And I was like, what is that? He's just like, oh, just big. And uh, Grado just, or uh, Kiku, he's, 
He likes to smoke his cigarettes like a Japanese man usually does. And you have to roll the windows down then as yeah, smoking yeah, in the car. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, he just, he loves the culture of America so much he wants to move here, which I don't blame him. All these years you've been wrestling and gee, it just seems like you still enjoy this. This is something that you really love to do. What's it been like? What's this journey been like for you? Yeah, I think, you know, what's most important is like, I've had a lot of friends who loved it just as much as I have, who then got in situations where then all this sudden they hated professional wrestling. More than one, you know? So like, I always feel that I'm very grateful that like, uh, you know, I didn't get swallowed by a machine that made me hate wrestling, if that makes sense. So it's very cool that like, I still love doing this. Uh, I've been doing it, nobody has made me hate doing this, and so that's kind of important, is, is that I, I have my own schedule, I have my own freedom, I figured it out for myself, uh, you know, I gave myself to somebody, you know, uh, years ago to hopefully make me a lot of money, it didn't work, and then I gave myself to myself, and I said, I'll, I'm going to be my own, my own everything, and it's been a real real big DIY mentality to try to make it happen and it's worked for me uh, gratefully because of, of great fans who have recognized it I think and they're able to see like they're able to see me who I am a guy who loves wrestling who wants to be successful who wants to create content who wants to give uh, you know share the love of wrestling with anyone and everyone and so like that's kind of that's going to be the key to it all is, is to be happy this long and you were part of the meet and greet and it must be cool too for you when you see fans wearing your shirt i love it i always say a nice shirt i like your shirt and uh yeah it's the ultimate it's, it's the ultimate compliment it's a real cool shirt describe the shirt well i got many of them but i start the colt, blue shirt i start colt is the uh that's the number one off the tables coltmerch.com uh that's yeah a lot of people have that and i think it's always cool i hear so many stories of people like Hey, I was wearing my I Star Cold shirt, and someone like gave me a high five, or someone gave me a free breakfast, or someone did this. Like, it's like a secret handshake if you wear the shirt around. It's pretty cool. And lastly, I'll ask you about your friend CM Punk. Yep. He had that big fight. A lot of people give him a lot of respect for just going in there and, and trying it and doing it. Just what did you think of your friend and, and the effort he gave against Mickey Gall and just training for that? Yeah, nothing but respect. Nothing but respect. He, this is something that he wanted to do. Went out and did it. Um, amazing. Pretty amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. So nothing but respect for him, and you know, who knows what he wants to do in the future, but whatever he wants to do. Cool. Cole, thank you so much. Where can people go again if they want to get any? Yeah, you... please, my website is coltcabana.com, Twitter and Instagram, at coltcabana, and the movie is at coltmerch.com. It ships November 6th. We're taking pre-orders now, digital November 11th, and I watch the trailer on my YouTube channel or my Twitter. Uh, you're going to love it. It's so great. It's so great. I can't, I can't speak more highly of it. Ring of Honor, Cole Cabana, thank you.